I've got a scene provided called Spider 01. Let's open that. And I've got a spider with a pretty crude animation here. We can make motion vectors for it. Let's render. That's the beauty render of the spider. And then now we want to make a motion vector pass. So to do that, we do the same thing. Assign new material, LM to DMV, default values, and in quality tab, set motion back offset to zero and turn on force motion vector computation now we've got motion vectors for the spider let's actually set LM to DMV normalize to 720. Now everything is set up and we can batch render this animation from frame 1 to 48. To do this, uh, we just go to the render menu. Batch render. Ah, first of all, set the proper file name for your scene. Spider and back. Open EXR. Let's render that. And also I will render the main beauty pass, just change the name and apply the original shader back. Batch render that also. And now we've got two image sequences that we can use in compositing beauty and motion vectors they look like this that's beauty and motion vectors actually uh, since Maya 2009 we have yet another way to output motion vectors, which is pretty handy also. It doesn't involve uh, LM2DMV shader, it's using a built-in Maya passes system. To use it, we don't need uh, to set motion blur or even this force motion vector computation checkbox. We'll just disable that. Still, we need to keep an eye on this motion back offset. It affects the render as well. To use this method, we need to go to the passes folder and create normalized 2D motion vector. Create and close and move it to the associated passes section. In its options, we've got uh, the similar attribute uh, called max pixel displacement, which we can set to the same 720. And then we need to give it a name and uh, 
since I'm outputting them into OpenEXR, uh, render passes uh, will be stored as an additional channel in the same EXR as the beauty pass. And it will be called as this node does. So we can rename that. And back. And I think everything is set all right right now. Um, beauty shader on the spider. And now we start patch render again. And now we've got a third sequence, which has both beauty and motion vectors in the same EXR file. It produces the similar result, though it's unpremultiplied. If you wanted to make uh, LM to DMV vectors unpremultiplied, you can go to the quality tab and uncheck this pre-multiply checkbox. But for real smart motion blur uh, vectors node, you don't need that. Just keep it as pre-multiply. Uh, this um, passes method is pretty useful because it uh, doesn't need you to uh, install a shader uh, and uh, set anything in these options. Uh, if you have uh, my 2009 or uh, higher, you can try this out. Uh, this video is not about compositing motion vectors. That huge topic deserves its own long video. So I'm just showing the result. Uh, that's the motion blur made by Real Smart plugin with the help of motion vectors we've rendered. It has some artifacts uh, when legs intersect, but that's really not visible in animation. And now let's switch to something more intense.